today, Lord. Father God, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you touch, Lord God, our leaders, Almighty God. Lord, that you give them wisdom and knowledge, Almighty God. Help them to make the right decisions, Almighty God. Lord, we ask you to touch, Lord, our medical staffs, our doctors, Lord God. Lord, our nurses, Lord God, Lord. Those are in the medical field, Almighty God. Lord, we pray that you give them strength this morning, Lord. That you give them courage, Almighty God. God, that you plant angels of protection around them, Almighty God, Lord. God, as they endeavor, Lord God, to help your people, Almighty God. Lord, we lift up, Lord God, this world in prayer, Almighty God, Lord. God, that you touch your people everywhere, Lord God. Lord God, we bind, Lord, this spirit, Lord, this virus, Almighty God, Lord. Father God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God. Lord God, we ask you to place your healing hands upon your people, Almighty God. God, you said in your word, you are the God that healeth thee, Lord God, Lord. God, manifest yourself, God. Show yourself strong, Almighty God, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, have mercy upon your people everywhere, Almighty God. Meet the needs of your people, Almighty God. Lord, we need you in this trying time, Almighty God, Lord. God, Lord, be merciful unto us, Lord God. Lord, and as we endeavor to do our work today, Lord, we ask you to plant angels of protection around each and every person, Lord God, Lord, in this store, Almighty God, as they enter into the store, Almighty God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And God, we thank you, Lord God, that you've kept us, Lord God, thus far, Almighty God. Touch our families, Lord God, wherever they are, Almighty God. Lord, strengthen them, Almighty God. Lord God, plant your angels of protection around them, Almighty God. God, and we thank you for what you've already done, God. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do, Lord God. We thank you that you're bringing us through, Lord, this trying situation, Almighty God, Lord. And we're coming out victorious, Almighty God, Lord. In your son Jesus' name, amen. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, Shalom to the elect, uh, the men in sincerity, laboring, and the um, men, women, and children, uh, the families that are set up to be delivered as well. Okay, I want to touch on this video. Uh, <laughs> the brother, younger brother from our camp, the younger brother, GMS Lions 15. That is, that's his screen channel. You can look and subscribe. Okay. Anyway, the brother sent me uh, this, this clip. He shared it. And I said, immediately I jumped on it, you know. I was done doing videos, hey, but when the Lord calls, he calls. <laughs> but not not the calls for these people, man, okay? These women, uh, they, you know, if she had on a little dress, try to be somewhat righteous, uh, but she's not covered in modest apparel. And, this, and that's the sickness of Christianity, man. Didn't they do, do they not read the scriptures of what's coming, what the Lord is going to do? to these people about the plagues and pestilences that's coming they don't read that in church and that's the dangers of prosperity teaching and i'm looking at the comment board i'm so glad that they are praying in jesus the name of everyone together at work bless your believers you know that's the christian way and they talking about in the time of the rapture okay so the christians are thinking oh the rapture is coming right now you know, but I will say a lot of the Christians, they do believe in the mark of the beast and the RFID chip. So when that come out, they will be looking for deliverance just like we will. OK. So, you know, some of them believe they'll be delivered before the tribulation. You know, I hear all kind. Of, there's different sects and levels of uh, the, the Christianity. But I just wanted to do this quick, short video. I got a few scriptures lined up real quick. Uh, <laughs> now everybody's religious. Now everybody's calling on God. Where were they doing that when before the coronavirus hit, man? Okay, the pandemics, uh, which other uh, situations happen. Where were they, man? Where were they calling on the Most High? What about their works? I guarantee you, every last one of them eat pig or swine, or some crabs or some abominable food. I guarantee you every one of them is an adulterer, man, or high levels. Maybe the older ones are chilled out, but for the most part, they're still sinning. 
I'm talking about on high levels. They're not caring about the law of the Lord, man. I guarantee you they're not following the Sabbath day. They're not following the holy day. They're following holidays. There's a difference between holy days and holidays. I guarantee you uh, Easter Sunday they had the ham. And everybody, I noticed all the so-called black women, All I heard them, my next door neighbors, talking about the ham. They don't know where they, where they come from. Uh, uh, Ishtar, or uh, uh, Semiramis who had the son Tammuz, who was fond of the boar, who was fond of the pig, and the pig killed, I mean, he was fond of the rabbit, the, the, the rabbit, but a wild boar supposedly killed him, and Ishtar commissioned everybody in the village to kill a pig and put it on the table and represent and, and worship it to the mother of the sun, the queen of the heaven, right? And he was fond of the rabbit, and the rabbits lay eggs, so that represented fertility. That's where you get the rabbits and the eggs from. But people aren't listening to that, man. You know, Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay. Y'all going to know. This is only the beginning. The men of the Lord, the true prophets, and I'll say a great millstone. We've been telling you, okay, on high levels. Other Israelites too. But we've been telling you Christians on high levels, man. Or what's coming. The famine. The food shortages. And none of you Walmart workers, if they cut your pay, you ain't going to work. Okay? Some of you might be rebel Christians. I don't know. Proverbs 15, 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. You people are wicked. Okay? You got this woman out here preaching, praying. Let's see what the scriptures say. 1 Corinthians 11, this is real quick. And you know what? A lot of these Christians hear these videos we do, then they try to jump on board and then imitate it and try to make it seem like they're righteous. They don't want to admit that it's us bringing out to the truth and to all these Christian churches that they're taking from us. They're trying to do a lot of things that we do. Okay? Trust me, they're trying to do that. But they won't say it's from those Israelites. They're now saying that, well, we got to keep the law. You know, all the things that they never told us in Christian church, now they're saying it. Oh, we got to keep the law. Oh, now we got to have Sabbath days. Okay? Anyway, 1 Corinthians 11 and 5. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth, having, uh, uh, having, let me go on here. Um, but, but every woman that pro prayeth or prophesieth, prophesieth with her head covered, uncovered, dishonor her head you know you got some women make excuses the feminist woman well my head is my hair is my covering get the hell out of here if your hair was your covering it probably is to some of you black women because you take it off <laughs> so then you stick it on there and say that's my covering okay if you completely bald hit it and you want to take a weave and throw it on there maybe it is covered i don't know for <laughs> for that is even all one as if she were shaven. <laughs> so really, just because you got hair on your head and you so-called pray if or prophesy, which a woman doesn't really prophesy like men do, okay? That's really just going to praying to their, um, you know, and teaching the young, the young ladies how to behave, man, okay? And how to uh, go about doing what she does and uh in her womanly activities okay so let's go to this word um let's go to this word prophesieth okay you have one a b c d you know and you just get to the point you apply the one that goes where it's supposed to go it says to break forth under sudden impulse and lofty discourse or praise of divine of the divine counsels under like prompting to teach, refute, reprove, admonish, comfort others. So this woman was supposed to have her head covered, okay? Not with a hair hat, but she was supposed to have her head covered, okay? But well, she wasn't, you know? Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, okay? But they are commanded to be under obedience, under order. As also saith the law, okay? 
He had another woman say, yeah, we could still uh, preach, but that's when you're not in the council of men. They make up all kinds of excuses to continue to do what they want to do, man. That's just talking about in the council of the church. Anyway, and if they learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. You know why they don't do this? Because they don't read it. They don't read it, man. This is just comical. This is religious religious comedy. That's what this is called. This is called religious comedy. And we just sit back <laughs> and we see this craziness, man. Okay, Psalms 18 and 41. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord. But he answered them not. Okay, so that's coming again. Even going back in the, uh, Babylon in the time of Egypt and all the empires, when the Lord threw these empires down, you know what Jake did? The Lord let you know. You're going to cry back unto the Lord. It doesn't matter. You an Israelite? You're gonna, you know how you're going to know who Israelites are? They're going to be the ones that truly cry unto the Lord in that day. Okay, the Lord's going to put the spirit on you to know, but it's going to be too late. You know, hey, it's the Lord's show. I'm, I'm thankful to try to seek my salvation and, and to see the other brothers and to be in this predicament. All you laughed at us, all you call us a hate group. You laughed at everything we said. You mocked us. Uh, uh, was it Chronicles 36 and 16? Second Chronicles. They mocked the message of, of, of the Most High until... Uh, there was no remedy and the most high basically came and took them out this is what's coming man you all laughed at us we on them corners pushing we are a hate group you're a bunch of haters you're the kkk we're all hate groups well look what the lord is doing isaiah 45 and 7 uh, i'm just quoting the uh, the lord um is the creator of all things he create good and he create evil Okay, the Lord is the creator of all this, man, and He's killing who He wants to kill. And none of it's nothing none of you can do. You can stand there and you pray in your hush puppies, you know, holding hands in the circle. You know, I noticed when I was in the world, we used to do that. You know, you get locked up. You go, you go to the prayer line and stand in the circle because these people don't know. But the ones that have heard the truth, you know, it's over for you. Unless you repent, you know, you and those Christian church, boy, you better repent. You men, mainly you men, we out to the men. But some of you women, you, you, a lot of you better get right. The men, you got to get right, mainly the elect. You got to get right. Y'all better wake the hell up. Whoever you are, you better teach your family. You better tell them, watch these videos because this is where the truth is at. Okay. I just want to touch on that. That's all I have on that. Shalom.